In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a line graph by using Microsoft Excel. So let's get to it. Currently in my sheet, I have some example data. In the first column, I have data for the year ranging from the year 2000 to 2017. In columns B to G, I have the number of cases of tuberculosis in different regions in the world. Let's start off by creating a simple line graph with just one data set plotted. In this case, let's start with the Africa data. I will click and drag to select my data, then go to insert, insert line or area chart, then I will select the first option, which is a 2D line. We now have a basic line graph. On the X axis, we have the year. However, the labels for these are currently wrong. We will change that shortly. And on the Y axis, we have the number of cases of tuberculosis. Let's change the X axis so that it displays the correct labels. In this case, the year number. To do this, right click on the graph and go to select data. Select the edit button under the horizontal axis label. Now select the arrow button. Next, we have to select the range of cells we want for the X axis labels. So this will be the data in my first column. I will click and drag to select this and then press enter. Click OK and OK again. Now you can see the X axis contains the correct labels. Next, let's give the axes some titles so we can tell the reader what they are looking at. To add axes labels, click on the plus icon next to the graph and select the axes titles option. Or you can go to design, add chart element, axes titles and select them from there. I will call my X axes year and I will call my Y axes tuberculosis cases. And while we're there, I will also rename my title and call this worldwide tuberculosis incidents. We currently only have data plotted for Africa. So let me now show you how to plot multiple data series or lines onto the same graph. Right click on the graph and go to select data again. This time we need to focus on the left side of the window called legend entries. The entry we have in the table called series one is actually the data for Africa. Next, I will add a new entry by selecting the add button. I will leave the series name blank for now. And for the series value, I need to select the arrow and then I can click and drag on my data on the sheet for that entry and then press enter. Click OK and then OK again. Now you will see a new orange line has been added, which is the data for Americas. To add the rest of my data, I could repeat the steps I've just performed. Or if the data has been entered side by side, like in my sheet here, I can use a shortcut. With the graph selected, you will notice a blue box around the data plotted on the graph. In the lower right hand corner of this box, there is a dot. If I click and drag on this dot, I can then extend the blue box so that it covers all of my data. Now, all of my data is plotted on the graph. With all the data plotted on my graph, it is really starting to come together. However, there is no figure legend to tell me which line color represents which location. To add a figure legend, with the graph selected, click on the plus icon and select legend. Or you can go to design, add chart element, legend, and select an option from there. Notice how the labels are just series one, two, etc. To change this, I need to rename my series by right clicking on the graph and selecting select data. Now for series one, this is my first entry, which is Africa. So I click the edit button and call the series Africa, then click OK. I will now repeat these steps for the rest of my data. Now all of my series have been renamed. I will click the OK button to return to the graph. That looks a lot better. Finally, in this last section of the tutorial, I will show you how you can go further and format your graph. Let's start by changing the colors of the lines. To change a color of an individual line, simply select it and go to Format, Shape Outline, and choose a color. 
You can also choose some color themes in Excel by going to Design, Change Colors. These themes will change the colors of all the lines. Another thing that you may want to consider for line graphs is adding markers. At the minute, you will see that each line is a smooth line. And this is because there are no markers at each year to signify the data points. If you want to add markers, simply right click on a line and select Format Data Series. In the new side menu, click on the Fill in Line option and select Marker. Then, under Marker Options, select Built in. You can specify the shape and size of the marker. But for my example, I will leave the markers switched off. A final thing I always like to do in graphs made in Excel is to make my axes more visible. To do this, click on the numbers in the Y axis and notice the selection box around them. I will select a solid line and I will change the color to black and the width to 1.5 points. I will now do the same for my X axis by selecting it and changing the line appearance in the side menu. Finally, I always like to add tick lines to my axes so that you can see the points that correspond to each axis label. To do this, select an axis, for example the X axis, and in the side menu select axis options, tick marks, and I will select the minor type to be shown outside the axes. So now you can see the tick lines on my X axis. I will quickly repeat this for my Y axis, but this time I will show the major tick lines. And that wraps up this video tutorial. In this tutorial, you have learned how to create a line graph by using Microsoft Excel. You also know how to modify the appearance of the line graph by adding features such as a figure legend. If you found this video useful, please leave a like. It really does help support the channel. If you've got a question, pop it down in the comments below. Also, consider subscribing for more weekly tutorials.